We ever find difficulty in determining the moisture content of the soil sample corresponding to the 25 blows of the Casagrande apparatus? If yes, then this video is for you. My name is Saad and you are watching an exclusive video from IamCivilEngineering.com. So I have opened a, uh, a blank sheet of Excel and to work out in this sheet. First you have to write the number of blows, oh, sorry, uh, you have to write X and Y. So to better understanding for X, you can write number of blows and from Y, you can write the moisture content of the soil sample. So I would use the values that I have obtained, sample 8, 12, and then 26, and 28, 31, and here I have a, a corresponding to 8 is 51, 32, and 48.2, and 40, 38.8, and 37.1. So this is the data uh, that I have obtained in the laboratory test. Now I can use the uh, the chart. I can go to scatter and I use the X Y scatter plot. Here you can select it and click OK. You've got this basic chart that is ready. The X axis and Y axis, and you've got the moisture content. You can delete this. I don't need it. And you can re rename the chart as flow curve because it is called flow curve, and we have to determine the liquid limit in this flow curve which is corresponding to the 25. So you can go there and select a, a linear chart with, that, with this equation. This is a very useful linear equation. You have to format the axis. Uh, you have to use the logarithmic, like base 10. You have this chart now. You can add the major and minor axis, add one minor grid lines and the major grid lines. This is now has a better appearance. So uh, you have to use this equation which is the basic one to determine what is the value of moisture content corresponding to 25 blows. So I write minus 0 point minus 0 0.5787 times 25 plus 55.036 so hit enter and you will get this value so this is actually the liquid limit of the soil sample and uh, so it's that easy you can do some minor changes in your graph like adding some excess title here it is moisture content here I have the number of flows number of flows number of flows so this is the basic idea you can delete it and this is the equation so that's all in this video thank you very much